The Port of New Orleans project in St. Bernard, the Louisiana International Terminal, got caught up in politics this legislative session. And Port Nola insists the project is moving forward despite millions in funding being stripped from the state budget last minute. David Jones has more. Opponents of the $1.8 billion Violet Terminal are claiming a win after last-minute budget negotiations resulted in the shuffling around of millions of dollars in funding for the project, dollars requested by the governor. There was some money available for some other studies and some construction of the future port um, that was totally lined out of the budget. Lawmakers scrambled at the last minute to approve the state's $45 billion budget. What some lawmakers didn't know was around $130 million requested by the governor to fund Port Nola's project to build a terminal in St. Bernard was slashed after Shawmet Representative Ray Garofello voted against raising the state's spending cap. I don't believe that what happened in the legislature, um, um, this, what we're talking about, is going to affect their timeline. Parish President Guy McInnes says the cuts shouldn't impact the port's ability to move forward. There was the significant cuts for the um, port projects and the port studies, um, but those things can come up in the future. What I worry about is um, spending every dollar that we can to study all of the negative impacts that any project um, comes to St. Bernard Power. So we're, we're all for studying the negative impacts to make sure we cover those for our citizens. Of the 130 million, 80 was budgeted to build the roadway connecting 510 with the development, and 50 was for drainage, site preparation, and construction of the site. However, only $4 million were slated to be spent in the near term. But now, the port won't see any of this money, at least until the next legislative session. And we believe that they're building this port, and if so, we need a road to protect the, the growth of St. Bernard Parish and to protect our citizens from the uh, negative impacts that the significant amount of traffic a port of this magnitude will put on our highways. Once they had this money that they touted and, and they touted it as a guaranteed amount from, from the state to the project. Robbie Showalter is leading a group of St. Bernard residents opposed to the port expansion. Port New Orleans is constantly trying to tell our, uh, our people in St. Bernard Parish that this is a done deal. They want us to believe that so they can steamroll right over us. And I keep telling people this is a perfect example of it not being a done deal. In a statement, a spokesperson for the port writing, quote, it was surprising and disappointing that the largest public economic development project for the state got caught up in politics at the last minute. But to be clear, this project remains on track and we will continue to move forward to deliver this vital infrastructure necessary for Louisiana to remain competitive in the global economy. In an email, House Speaker Clay Sheck Snyder writes of the funding Quote, the majority of the funding was a request to help in the future. If the project were to ever move forward, it can be added in next year's session. If the representative in the district wants to include the project, this should have no impact short term. Meanwhile, Port Leaders telling Fox 8 they don't anticipate any changes to the project's time frame, which is still set to break ground in 2025 and for the first berth to open in 2028. In total, the legislature awarded $2 million for a study on what the port is calling the St. Bernard Transportation Corridor. Meanwhile, the governor tells Fox 8 at the next Joint Legislative Committee on the budget, tentatively slated for July 21st, he will be asking lawmakers to move the $4 million so the projects can advance on time. Lauren?